Public Q and A presence ask Reddit question. What can we learn slash know right now in 10 minutes that will be useful for the rest of our life? Grasp the idea that everyone you meet knows something you do not. A wise man and a fool have a long conversation. The fool has the most to learn, but the wise man learns the most. Sorry for not being gender neutral. It's fine. Sometimes I think the attempt to be gender neutral takes away from the actual phrase or lesson. Honestly, I always saw man in cases like these to be considered gender neutral. Kind of like how mankind just means the human race. That is what man meant in Old English. A person, man or woman. An adult male person was WER, which survives, a trifle oddly, in Werewolf. A female person was a WYF, which of course survives as wife. This page has some more information. I would bang a whiff wolf. How to spot someone choking and how to help them. Takes 10 minutes to learn and could save a life. Also, how to spot someone legit drowning. It looks nothing like the movies. Head will be barely above water, with mouth bobbing slightly in and out of the water, opening and closing like a fish would. Probably won't see their hands because they'll be moving wildly underwater, they won't be making much sound, if at all, they'll have glassy eyes with a faraway stare. All this adds up to a very non-Hollywood look that we're all used to. This person looks calm in the water because their amygdala has taken over, and they are on autopilot to simply stay alive. This is one of the reasons why they don't speak. Speech isn't important at this point, so their brain shuts it down. This is also why it's extremely dangerous to personally engage a drowning person. They will drown you to save themselves and probably have no recollection of doing it. Always use a long pole, rope, flotation device, or something else onto which they can grab. I heard that another sign to look out for is if they have hair in front of their face. Since they are using their energy to stay afloat, they don't have time to brush hair out of their eyes or face. Edit. Grammar. Former lifeguard here. Another good indication is the victim not making any progress moving forward or backward or any direction. I also want to stress the comment about not trying to make physical contact with an active victim, as they will try to drown you to save themselves. If it's last resort and all you can do, you can combat this by pulling hard on their hair. Not fun but better than drowning. Never save a bald person. Check. Use a plunger. Then you got a convenient guidance stick. Yes. I forgot about this. Great point. Thanks. Upvote for not ending your last sentence with a preposition, you fancy, fancy human. Ending sentences with prepositions is something up with which I shall not put. Smiling face with open mouth and smiling eyes. To expand on this. If you yourself are choking, a lot of people have heard the use a chair to Heimlich yourself trick. To me the better and easier method is to get into a position on the ground face down arms up like you're going to do a push-up. Then drop yourself to the ground to force pressure through the diaphragm. Does it also work for us humans with big bumpers on the chest? As a fellow big bumper person, I am hoping so. I kind of always wondered that myself. Awesome username. When you've exhausted all of the other options that randomly popped into your head. Yours makes me feel uncomfortable haha. Thank you, now I will forever think of boobs as human bumper car bumpers. Well you can try it now while you aren't choking, and if it forces air out of your lungs then it will probably work. Holy fuck. That is something that should be taught in schools. Thank you for this. And if you are choking at a restaurant, don't run into the restroom out of embarrassment where you might die alone and unseen. Percentage is interchangeable. 
8% of 25 is hard to do in your head, but 25% of 8 is easy, and they both equal the same. Works every time. Edit. Officially the most awards I have ever received on a comment or post. If you think of 8% as a fraction 8, or 100 the reason for this is more clear. 8 or 100 x 25 equals 8 x 25, or 100 equals 8 x 25, or 100. This needs to be higher up for everyone who got their mind blown because this is the clearest explanation as to why it works. What? Try it yourself. 80% of 400. 10% of 5. 64% of 50. 80% of 400 equals 80, or 100 400 equals 84 equals 320. 10% of 5 equals 10, or 100 5 equals 1 or 10 5 equals 5, or 10 equals 1 or 2 or 0. 5 if you prefer decimals. 64% of 50 equals 64, or 150 equals 32, or 50 50 equals 32. For 10%, just move decimal left once. To calculate a 20% tip, just move the decimal in the total one space to the left then double that amount. EX $32. $50 3. 25X2 equals $6. 50 tip. Edit. Oh my god, my first awards. You like me, you really like me. And then round up to $7 because you're too lazy to add any numbers after the decimal place when figuring out the total. And then move to a country where service workers are paid a living wage. Ahem, anything easier. Think of percentages in a different way. 8% is just 8 or 100. So 8% of 25 is 8 or 100 times 25. Multiplication and division are commutative, which is a fancy way of saying you can swap the order freely. So you can do 8 times 25, or 100 or 8, or 100 times 25, and it will come out to the same thing. Percent just means times 1 or 100. 8 1 or 125. You can rearrange the terms. 8 25 1 or 100. Oh wow. Okay okay let me try it. 7% of 24 is the same as 24% of 7. Okay. So. Hmm. Mind. Blown. Squints. What the fuck. I am really bad at math. So too. This seriously works with every percentage. The reason it works as a percentage is a number divided by 100, and so a percent of some number is that number, times the percentage, divided by 100. Multiplication and division can be reordered without affecting the result, so in effect what you're doing is taking 25 8, or 100 and simply reordering it as 8 25, or 100. I feel like a dumbass for not knowing or thinking of this before. Why didn't they teach this to US in school? Sure they did. But this is a shortcut. What they taught was how to use fractions and bedmas. The biggest mistake I make in math is going too fast and using shortcuts. They did. Multiplication is commutative. It was one of my first math lessons. Thanks. I can teach my son that now. The phrase. It probably isn't about you. Applies to most everything. You're so vain, you probably think this thread is about you. Don't you? Don't you? Good one, thanks. How to properly stretch your hands and forearms. Stretch arms straight out forward, point fingers up then without moving arms ball a fist downward. Repeat as fast as possible. Taught indirectly from Bruce Lee.
Is it supposed to click and pop like that? Bone hurting juice should only be taken once a day. Who else immediately did this? As a non-native, I really did not understand. Is there any video showing this? I mean, their skills and not really wisdom but... Warning signs of a stroke. How to use a fire extinguisher. Rolling your clothes after folding gives you more room in a drawer or suitcase. It's life-changing. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. How to change a tire, check your oil and jump a car. Also changing headlights without using your fingers because the oils will damage the bulbs. How to start a campfire and put it out. The Heimlich maneuver. How to tie a knot more than one way. How to sew a basic stitch. The basics of emergency first aid. How to spot a riptide and how to escape. How to shut off and turn on a circuit breaker and where they're located. What to do in an earthquake, tornado, tsunami and hurricane. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. I mean does anyone screw or unscrew without saying this? It's synonymous with clicking tongs together. Fun fact, not on propane tanks. They are threaded the other direction at least in the USA. Edit. Word. Edit 2. Make sure you read both the Smarter Pants responses below as well. Also left bike pedals. The right side is normal. Most gas and liquid valves, actually, not just propane tanks. Not all though, a lot of times a left hand thread will have a notch through the edges of the flats. Generally flammable is left hand thread. Then there was the time a hospital switched out all the oxygen connections on a wing because they were threaded wrong. You don't want to have been the supervisor who approved that costly and boneheaded repair. Thankfully they caught it in time and swapped them back out for reverse threads before anything happened. Fun fact, not on propane tanks. They are threaded the other direction at least in the USA. Only on the outside, the threads on the inside of the valve are normally turned. You'd be surprised. I have a friend who thinks that saying is stupid and that it's not helpful because a circle doesn't have a right or a left. I have given up trying to explain. Clockwise and counterclockwise is better but less mnemonic. Time Titans Has he ever used a ratchet before? Most have R and L on them so you know which way you turn them. Or does he say that L means loose and R means are tight? How to Jump a car Step 1 buy a motorbike and a ramp. What to do in an earthquake, tornado, tsunami and hurricane. I feel like I should be more appreciative of the fact that none of this is relevant where I live. Some people live in really dangerous places. But if you ever go to one of these places on holiday, take a couple of minutes to Google what to do just in case. If the nut has a line in it it's reverse thread. Well, thanks. Your friends love you. Brain is just mean sometimes. My brain in an obstinate lump of fuck. Along those lines. If you think everyone hates you, you need to sleep. If you think you hate everyone, you need to eat. Last night I had a dream that my friend was giving out discount codes, but only to his friends. I asked for one and he was like lol nope. This was good to read. I don't have friends to love me. Wow. You are still with us. Thanks for being such a nice person. As long as you are here, why not like this video and subscribe to our channel. Also you can press the bell icon so you won't miss any future uploads.